Good morning, guys. Excuse my um, my scarf this morning. Um, I am about to go to work, so I figured I'd take you guys on my day, and I just like you know relay down my bun and everything. And I have curly hair, so I had to put my scarf on before I'm heading out the door. And I guess I'll take the tripod with me today because. I'm gonna be in my lash office all day. It is almost 9 a.m. so I gotta head out of here. Um, so yeah, let's get going. Okay, so I didn't grab any breakfast this morning. I'm running a little behind actually. So I'm just going to grab some breakfast on the way and then we are going to head over there. I guess I should take this water bottle as well. Uh, one thing when you're lashing all day, make sure you bring snacks and hopefully you have a gap in your schedule where you can do a lunch break i do today thank god so yeah about to get driving about to get in the car and head out okay guys so i just got here i just set up everything so that i can start to work so i got everything set up ready to go i unboxed my little travel case so i use one of these and um when you open it, it has a bunch of layers and stuff in it. But that's what I keep all of my stuff in. Okay guys, I just wrapped up my first client. So I am going to get ready to disinfect. And I did get some um, footage for you guys, so I can include that in here. Um, but yeah, she was um, a new client. She got a full volume set. Oh my God, I forgot to take after pictures and do a freaking video clip of how her lashes came out <laughs> jeez 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 oh, don't be like me remember to take pictures and stuff of your clients results um she really liked her lashes she had a decent amount of lashes to lash um so she didn't have a whole whole bunch it only took me about an hour and 15 minutes usually it takes me like an additional hour but she didn't have as much lashes to get so volume was the perfect thing for her to get and she was super super nice so um hopefully she becomes a regular client so it's always good when you get new clients and they have good experiences and everything like that so let's go ahead and disinfect all my stuff so i can get ready for my next client I'm like ahead of schedule. My next client doesn't come until 2 o'clock. So I'm going to just do some things I got to get done in here and then eventually get lunch. And then I'll finish my last two people. Hey guys, so I wrapped up eating lunch. I just got some McDonald's. I really don't like eating McDonald's because it's not good for you. Um, so I wanted to tell you guys what happened because I was supposed to have a two o'clock appointment. She is a regular client and I had to do something today that sometimes I'm really not good at doing and that's like just enforcing people to respect your time and you know, having to cancel a client's appointment and reschedule them or if they choose not to reschedule that's on them so this is a returning client now this client typically always shows up here 10 to 15 minutes late all the time every time she comes in oh i'm so sorry so sorry so sorry so sorry right i never um cancel her appointment on her or anything so it's kind of like my fault because i did not do anything to make her change now the last time she had an appointment she came early yeah so the last time she came she came early so i'm like okay all right she's getting better but i should have like enforced my policy on her when i first noticed it so um she's a very nice client never have any issues she's not hard to lash or or anything you know so today she had a two o'clock slot she booked it yesterday you know and when she books her appointment she sends me like the screenshot or whatever 
of it. And I was like, okay, I'll see you soon. Sorry, I'm messaging my four o'clock so she can come early. So um, she sends me the screenshot of the appointment she um, books. I said, all right, see you soon or whatever. You know, if that makes her feel confident, comfortable that I see that she booked an appointment, you know, that's just what she has to do. So um, she booked it yesterday for today. Um, and two o'clock came around. I'm like, okay, she's usually always like a few minutes late. And it's like 2.07. And then I message her because like I got her as a client through Facebook. So I go on Facebook Messenger to talk to her. So um, and she's pretty good with the Messenger too. Um, she mainly speaks Spanish, but she, she goes, she can speak both languages. Um, so I'm like, hey, are you coming? I almost said her name. I'm like, hey, are you, are you um, on your way? Um, you had an appointment for 2 o'clock and now it's like 2.07. So then she goes... Let me just open this back up because this is what made me upset and made me realize that I have to make sure that people respect my time. And I may have to do things that I normally like nice Tanaya wouldn't want to do, but I have to do it, you know, to make people not take advantage and respect me and my business and my time and put something in place where they'll know not to try it again. So... I said, are you still coming? Your appointment is at 2. And then she said, she doesn't really always speak like full, full sentences. So she said, 2.30 today. Sorry. And I'm like, when I read that, it's already 2.07. You could have just messaged me, gave me a heads up. Hey, I'm running late. You know what I'm saying? Contact me in some type of way to say that you are running late and I'll work with you. Because when somebody's late, especially when they're like, I really don't take people over 20 minutes late. If you come 10 to 15 minutes late, I can still take you and still do your fill. Definitely not a full set if I have somebody after you. I can still do your fill. It's the way my system is like spread out. It gives me like a 30 minute window in between the next appointment slot. So like I can still do your fill. I feel a little rushed, but I can still do your fill. But if you're 30 minutes late, now that 30 minute cushion I had between the next client is completely gone. And I have to hope that I get no stickies. I have to hope that your eyes aren't tearing and that you're fully, fully dry. I have to hope that you like it and you don't see a little spot you want me to get. Like my timing has to be perfect. And I don't wanna work that way. Um, I give myself a 30 minute cushion in between each client for a reason. Because what if I need a little bit longer? Or what if I take a little extra longer to dry you if you're like a teary, um, a teary more sensitive eye client or whatever, or in to clean and sanitize. So you completely knock that out the window. So when she just said 2.30 today, sorry. And I'm like, it's already 2.07 and you didn't even give me a heads up? Like that's messed up. And then um, I just immediately responded and said, hi, unfortunately, I have to reschedule you because um, you're now, I can't take you 30 minutes past your appointment time. I have another client after you. And I said, I'll be more than willing to reschedule you. And I told her the days I have next week, that's open. And then she said five, and then she said it in Spanish, but five minutes. And then she put the emoji and it's just like, I purposely let this messenger go off like just I didn't even respond I said okay I'll wait five minutes because then it'll be like 2:20. she's not at my door or anything you know and so I just responded I said unfortunately I won't be able to take you today because now you're over 20 minutes late because now it's 2:20. you're over 20 minutes late for your appointment and I said I can still be willing to reschedule you next week this day or that day at um at X, Y, and Z time and she picked another day next week. So it's just like, I had to really make a decision that I, I normally never do this. First of all, a lot of my clients are usually like five to 10 minutes early. And I don't have issues. Like some people make a big deal out of their clients coming early. I don't, like I don't care. You know, 30 minutes early, you doing too much. But five to 10 minutes, you walking in a couple minutes early, I don't mind, I'll just take you. Especially if I'm done with the previous client or if you're my first client of the day, cool, I don't care. But um, when you start getting into being late, it pisses me off because nine times out of 10, I have somebody after you. And like for people who are late, if you're gonna be late, just let me know so then I can really try to see if I can work it out. If you're gonna be 30 minutes late, I can't do it because now I have no buffer in between you and my next client. And at the end of the day, 
what I want my um, my business and the service I'm providing to be known for is not only giving you a nice, clean, beautiful looking lash set, but also that you come into a clean environment, that it's a friendly, positive environment, but also that it's run professionally and that you are being able to be seen on time. You know, you don't have to wait for somebody to take you, especially if I'm an appointment based business. So whenever you come in to get your service done, you know, oh, this is my appointment time. Tonight is going to be ready for me when I walk in, even if I come in five minutes early. Nobody else is there. She's ready to just, you know, service me at this time. And that's it. And that's what I've been able to give damn near every single client. But sometimes like you have people where this happens all the time, they come late and then it pushes back your book. And it's like, no, I, I just couldn't allow it. Now I have to sit here, my other client's able to come like 30 minutes earlier, but now I have to, you know, sit here and wait, you know, for my other client to come. Because the other client that's after her is a new client, you know? So I definitely don't want her, even though I have a seating area, I don't want her to have to sit here and wait. It's her first impression of me, oh wow, it's my appointment time, I had to wait 10 to 15 minutes for her to take me or whatever, because that's like your first thought, you know? And it's just like, no, I'm not willing to risk you know the reputation of how my service went just because you didn't prioritize your time right and that's not really fair to me i'm here on time all the time and there's usually like a lot of negative talk about um hairstylists nail artists lash tags or whoever in the beauty industry that come to your appointment session late or they just walking in the door when it's your appointment time or they're just behind i'm not like that at all so if I never do that to my clients, I feel like my clients shouldn't do that to me or at least let me know you're running late. Like it takes two seconds to send me a message or if you're a phone, if you like to talk on the phone to call me to say, hey, Tanaya, I'm running late. Are you still able to take me to that? You know, so I had to let that out because I was really frustrated. I was I was really, really frustrated and I hate that. I, I hate that I had to do that. This is the second time. I had to do that. The other time I had to do it was to one of my good friends. And I felt so bad. You can't let somebody else's choices mess up the operations of your business. If she was my last client, I would have said, okay, if you can come at 2.30, I'll wait for you. If you're my last client, I'll be nice. But if I have somebody after you, I can't do that. Like, I can't do that. It's just like, sometimes I feel like clients put you in a situation to lose or clients put you in a situation to make things harder than it has to be but i guess that's just what comes with the game okay guys i am back home i have finished my day i had to go to the beauty supply store after to pick up some braiding hair because i gotta wash my hair tonight because i'm getting my hair braided tomorrow and that is pretty much it so i will see you in the next video bye